Hello, my name's Bethan and I'm an educator at the National Gallery. In today's Make and Create video, we're going to be exploring the idea of collaboration and looking at how you can create an artwork together. We'll start off by looking at some paintings from the National Gallery's collection and using these as inspiration to inspire our own making activities at home. So get ready to start your own family studio and find new ways of working. Materials you'll need for today's session could be anything you have around the house. I'm going to be working using coloured paper, tape, glue and paint. But feel free to switch these out for anything else you have, such as newspaper, cardboard or coloured pencils. Remember, there's no wrong or right way of working. All our activities are about having fun and trying something new. The word studio describes the workplace of an artist, but can also refer to the location or school in which an artist is trained. Throughout history, artists have often begun as assistants in a studio, collaborating on artworks for more established artists as a way of learning a craft. This painting titled The Agony in the Garden of Gethsemane is by the Greek artist El Greco, but it's actually labelled by the studio of El Greco, meaning he did not work on this painting alone. As a very successful painter, his artworks were in high demand, and as a way of making lots of artworks, he employed assistants to help him. I love the way this painting uses such vivid colours to create a sense of drama and contrast between the light and dark. The word collective is another art term used to describe artists working together. These could be fellow artists, friends or family with a common idea that work together to make it happen. Remember, you don't have to be physically with someone to collaborate. Even sharing a picture or talking on the phone can be a great way of sharing ideas with other members of your family. One of my favourite works in the National Gallery is this large-scale wall painting by the artist Bridget Riley. It spans right across the walls of the Annenberg Court in a series of coloured discs. Bridget Riley will often begin designing her works by collaging or drawing onto paper. The final paintings will then be installed by studio assistants that will collaborate and paint directly onto the walls of galleries or other buildings. Is this the type of painting you'd have expected to see when visiting the National Gallery? Many people would say it wasn't, but if we take a closer look at Bridget Riley's process and what inspires her, we can see many links to the National Gallery's collection, just like many artists before her. The French artist Georges Seurat would inspire her with his use of colour, contrast and tone. Early in her career, she would even create some of her own versions of his paintings. Similarly, the British artist John Constable would inspire her title Messengers with a phrase he used to describe clouds. During these Make and Create activities, we'll use Bridget Riley's Messengers for inspiration, with its bold shapes and scale, as well as the idea of working together. We can also think back to El Greco's wonderful use of colour. Our first activity is a bit like playing a game. Make sure everyone has some paper and things to collage with and begin by working onto your sheet of paper. When everything is stuck down, pass your work on someone else to add to. Continue to pass around your work until everyone has added to each piece. You can then try sticking up your work onto a wall to create your own exhibition and talk about which ones you like best. Our second activity still uses paper, but this time we're going to be working in 3D, turning our flat sheets into structures. Using scissors or rolling, folding or scrunching with your hand, create different shapes and structures. You can then combine your shapes and structures with someone else's by stacking them, folding them or slotting them together. When you finish, think about where your sculpture might go if it was life size. How might people interact with it? You could even try making some observational sketches. Our final making activity is about working on large scale. Using sheets or a roll of paper, cover a table or section of a wall so you can scale up a painting or drawing.
You can begin by sketching your design or just jump straight in and experiment with different colours and designs. Hopefully this video has given you some ideas about ways of working at home together. We would love to see what you've made, so share your collaborations online by tagging us on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter.